Okay, so the idea of a pre-event is very simple. It's an event before an event. The key thing is to give people time and space to hang out and socialize and get to know each other before the mad rush of the big event. People could get break off into groups and do things like inspire each other, educate each other. People are traveling a long way and before the event starts, people gather from different countries. And the idea of a pre-event is a thing you can go to before it starts. So what makes live events so much more valuable than watching content on video is having the opportunity to meet people. When I first heard this idea, I just immediately thought it was brilliant. And it became clear to me that this is something that can be done as a part of any conference, any event, any time or place where people are traveling from far away. They want extra, they want an extra bonus opportunity to interact with each other. So many events that I've been to, including 12 TEDs and more other conferences than I can count, is that you know, everyone arrives, you don't know anyone, you're in a room full of uh, people, it's an enormous crowd, very intimidating. So the pre-event extends one of the most valuable parts of the event for me. Many events have a calendar that's so dense that there isn't really much social time or opportunity to meet the other people. And it was amazing because I already had a little posse. <laughs> already knew a little bit, uh, share with other people as well, other organizers as well. Uh, Pre-event, in this case, had open space technology. That's the unconference idea. So the people in the room actually had a huge influence on what the scheduling was. The idea is the people in the first session, each people nominate topics, they pin them up on with post-it notes, put it on a board, on a flip chart, and then people can put their names against it and say, yes, I want to do that thing. So there's a kind of a mixture between democracy and persuasion. Like you can pitch a topic if no one's interested in your topic, that's probably not going to happen. But if there's a topic that everyone wants to go for, then that will happen. Some of it was social, some of it was know-how sharing, some of it was brainstorming together, but it was very much up to the character of the individual person. There were people like Anne from Denmark who were here for the first time, and she said it was wonderful for her because it would be quite intimidating to walk into a room with 500 people she doesn't know, and this gave her like a, a stage where she could get to know a core of people who became like the social glue for the rest of the event. I, I, maybe that's an exaggeration, but I heard that from multiple sources. Pre-event was good for me as a first-timer because it gave me a chance to connect to a lot of people. Um, so that when I got at the TED Fest, I had you know some familiar faces that uh, I could connect with, and, and that gave me a great way of sort of bonding with the whole community. We created an army of connectors uh, who helped facilitate it, so that boosted the confidence of the people who were in the pre-event and made them more useful for everyone else when they come to the main event. Getting to know them and actually getting to have some fun with them and discuss the, the things that bring us together allowed me to enjoy the main event much better. I already knew that I had some fast friends, so it was pretty cool. So part of what's special about the pre-event, the way that we did it, is that it was very much self-organized. The attendees all participated. In fact, we didn't let anybody sign up without agreeing on the registration form that they are not an attendee, but they are a co-organizer. Everyone who came helped. And so what happened is, as people arrived, they walked in the door and instead of saying, where's my stuff, or what do I get, where do I go? Each person walked in and said, how can I help? We didn't pay for caterers. We told each person that they needed to take a role, whether in helping to clean up or helping to set out the food or helping to receive it. And uh, similarly, um, all of the parts of the event, capturing the event on video, recording it. This video that you're watching right now was done by one of the people at our event who happened to have the right expertise and volunteered to help us out. The spirit of bringing people together is very strong with the unofficial pre-event. If somebody had an idea, every time we got a request that someone said, hey, you should do this, you should do that, I wish your event would have such and such in it, we said, great, you're in charge of creating that. Let's make that happen. And each time we did that, it grew the size of the team so that by the time the event actually began, we went from one person's idea, two people, three people, up to we were having a dozen members or more participating in our weekly calls as, as available. And the people who had visions for executing different parts of it 
each took responsibility for their own. We worked together with the events producers to create an authorized adjunct activity. And then each week we had a Google Hangout where everyone who wanted to have a say in how the pre-event happened was welcome to join. One of our priorities was making sure that this pre-event would have lasting value. So we made sure that someone's role was to photograph copies of all of the notes that were taken in all of the sessions, which created deliverables that we have shared with everybody who participated. But I think anyone organizing an event that where there are going to be people traveling should consider the evening before having some kind of time and space for the people who are attending from afar to get to know the local community. I think that the people that went to the pre-event now actually form a cluster and you can see that they are much closer, much nicer and friendlier to each other. One of the outcomes I'm the most proud of is that right now I'm at the main event and I see our participants in the crowd walking around and sharing with others how amazing this pre-event was. It's as if we've created a small tribe within this larger community and to me this is incredibly rewarding to see and I feel like we've had a success. So that's what pre-events do. We've done this one as an experiment and we're exploring ways to extend the model to other conferences. This is a potentially scalable idea that could be done in any country, in any culture, anywhere on planet Earth.